My son's grandfather bought him a number of years ago a subscription to National Geographic. Every month it arrives in the mail, and every month Sam carefully reads through the pages. But every Christmas, without fail, I've observed the same subject matter appears on the National Geographic. I've picked out a couple just for us to look at. First of all, here we have one of Mary, December 2015. Of course, December 2015, you keep these around because you never know when you're going to need them again. And December 2017, here we have the real Jesus. Yes, every Christmas, without fail, National Geographic sends out something to do with Jesus. It, it's good marketing on their part. I also note that every time there's something scandalous associated with it. You know, they've discovered some long lost manuscript that, yes, reveals the real Jesus, or they've discovered a hidden wife of Jesus who he had in some far off land, these kinds of things. As I say, it's good marketing on behalf of National Geographic, but I think actually it might point to something even deeper. And that is that even in our world today, there remains within people a interest still in Jesus. Who was he? Uh, what was he? What did he do? Why did he come? Did he really die on a cross? Did he even exist? Did he even more scandally? Did he rise from the dead? And, and what is it that Christians believe? What do they believe about him? And what do they understand about the Bible? What is the Bible? How should we understand the Bible? These questions, I think, remain at the heart of our society. People continue to ask them. This series that we've created here, that we're creating, is intended to unearth and answer some of those questions on a perhaps a bit more of a basic level. There's this really wonderful online series of videos, uh, animated videos, created by this group called The Bible Project. They're outstanding. They're about five minutes each, and they are about un understanding or helping us to understand something about the Christian story. I've carefully selected 10 of these videos that we're going to watch together. And along with these videos, I've created a video just like this. It's going to be a little bit like your tour guide through them all, helping you to understand some of the themes you're about to watch, recapping what it was that you watched that last time. My tour guide videos are going to be about like this, about five minutes long. So you'll have a five minute tour guide video and then you'll watch the video together. And then hopefully you can talk about things afterwards. Now here's the thing about these. This is a series that's intended to reveal to us or to help us understand Jesus, either if you're just beginning or a good reminder if you've been along the journey for a while now. But I'm not actually starting the videos at Jesus. Instead, if you can imagine, it's like a wide angle lens. Instead, I'm looking at the whole story or we're going to look at the whole story of the Bible together. The first four videos are all about the whole story of the Bible and then at the end of those four videos, we'll turn to the Gospels themselves and look at Jesus himself. Now, I've chosen to do this specifically for a purpose, and that is that Jesus is actually the climax to a long story. The story that precedes him and the story that comes after him. And like any good climax, if you're going to under, understand the climax of the story, you need that long story that precedes him and the story that comes afterwards to make sense of him. So it is with Jesus. We need the whole story of the Bible in order to make sense of Jesus. I look at it like this, or another way of looking at it is like the Star Wars story. Imagine that you're going to watch the first three stories, the only three stories, the only three movies of, to, of the Star Wars series to watch, in my humble opinion. But rather than watching those movies, you instead fast forward all the way through until you get to this final climactic scene with Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker, and they're fighting each other. Now, if you were to do that, you may have some sense and some idea of what's happening with those two characters, but you would be missing so much. And it's the same with Jesus. It, we need that story that surrounds him in order to make sense of him. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to watch for the first four videos are all about that whole story. And then after that, we'll turn specifically to the stories of Jesus himself. Now, before you watch the first video, one other little piece of instruction, and that is this. Don't be overwhelmed. 
In these videos, these opening videos, in five minutes, they're going to walk through the whole story of the Bible. It's covering a lot of material. Each time they do it from a different angle, but it's still, it's covering a lot of material. Don't be overwhelmed. Just take in what you can. Understand what you can. My belief is that after you watch each of these videos, your knowledge base will grow. You'll understand more and more so that by the time you come to the end of the fourth story, you'll have a good sense of what the story of the Bible itself is telling. And of course, these are all available online on YouTube. So whatever you watch together with your church, you can go home afterwards and re-watch it to pick up maybe some of what you missed the first time around. The key is, don't be overwhelmed. Just take in what you can. And with that, I invite you to watch now the first video in the series.